If you don't start bowling well, I'm going to Wu Tang. Ready? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are at the. We've moved on to the second game now. We've moved over to lanes 11 and 12 to view Anna Boganine's second game. She is a senior at Norristown. This is her last year at the bowling team. Hannah Boganin is the girls varsity captain for Norristown. Along with other co captains. And along with the other co captains on the team. We started in the second frame where Hannah right now has a two or twenty-nine. She has a twenty-nine in the second frame. We are starting in the second frame with Hannah having a twenty-nine. We are going to continually give you coverage throughout this game, frame by frame. Welcome back. Anna Boganin's up now in her third frame. Standing at a 29 right now. And she's up. She gets ready to bowl. Gives it a swing. Positions it down the middle and gets herself a strike. Beautiful, beautiful strike. It came out perfect. Right down the middle, everything went swell. And that concludes her third frame here in the second game. It's such a great turnout here. We have so many people uh, showing up here to support their teams uh, throughout the year. And uh, it looks like a, just quite a swell lot of people. I mean, it's, it's such a great tournament to uh, resemble, you know, who will win um, the championship and then move on to uh, regionals. And then after regionals will be states to prove 
who is the number one bowling team in the Montgomery County. Each team today has uh, split up into two uh, in each lane for reasons to separate them and give them in their individuality. And at the end of the game here, at the end of the whole three games here, we will have the scores for each individual player that was participating for the Norristown team today. So, you know, stay tuned. And uh, now back to Hannah, which is because she's going to be bowling now. She's on lane 12. She now stands at a nine with a strike in her third frame. And she swings it, brings it in giving herself a, oh, well, it didn't look like a split. It went down, so now she has down to one pin. And she's thinking about it. She, she knows that there's one pin left. She can take it out. And she loads it up again. Fire it, and swings it down, knocks it down, gives herself a spare, giving her a beautiful spare of a 59 in the fourth frame. And um, it can get a little slippery here on the lanes. I mean, the lanes are they're gloss. So the ball can go down in a matter of a couple of seconds or so. You know, I mean, knock a couple pins down or so, but also keep the floor ready for the bowlers so they don't slip and just make sure that they're okay throughout the game. As uh, updates are coming in, um, all the varsity boys, they're getting somewhere around, I mean, 190, 200 level, uh, you know, for their first game so far. And, and it looks like, you know, they're you know getting pumped up for it, getting ready. And hopefully next time they'll, you know, get more pins in and get a higher score for, you know, second game. So Nick, uh, what, what do you think? You know, what, you, what do you think these players are trying to get out of this season and trying to get out of this game? Hopefully, you know, to make it to uh, regionals or states. What, 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 what do you think about that? Well, I think the bowler wants to do. They want to get better. They want to improve their average, bring their scores up, and just have a good time. That's what bowling's all about. Um, it appears here, though, that right now they're trying to focus on winning, not only having a good time, but winning because they want to actually make it to a higher level. And, I mean, I would agree with that, yeah. I mean, bowl, bowling is a different sport from every other sport. I mean, it's, it's judged differently. It's judged the way that the bowlers, you know, swing it or get the bowling balls, how many pins they knock down, how many frames they go without having um, any problems when during bowling. True, but also bowling is like other sports as well because you have to maintain your equipment because, you know, football players don't want to go and leave their helmets out in the rain. The same with people, guys or bowlers in their bowling equipment, their bowling balls. They want to get them cleaned up. They want to maintain them. They want, like, bowling isn't so different from other sports. Yeah, I mean, bowling is not so different. I mean, the, uh, the players do bring out their, um, do bring shoes so that they don't slip on the floors. And, and they, they wear their colors to represent their school. 
and and that's what the pride is here in in bowling. They they bring they have their own balls, their um, own bowling balls to uh, show that they can they can succeed and um, show pride in their initiative. And now we're just awaiting. Uh, we got some other bowlers here just trying to finish out their fifth frames. And then we'll be awaiting Hannah Bogadines for her get it ready for her fifth frame. And now Hannah's up. See what she uh, let's let's see what she brings in for her fifth frame. Hopefully bringing her score up a little bit higher. Yeah, look, it looks good so far, Nick. I mean, here it goes and uh, knocks down nine pins in her fifth frame so far, and hopefully she'll bring in a spare and uh, closing out her fifth frame in a high score. This is gonna be spare though. It's a ten pin. It's the right-handed bowler's worst nightmare. Yeah, the ten pin definitely is a nightmare because it's positioned in a spot where the bowlers have to switch uh, their spots where they originated from, and now. Hannah Boganin did bring it in, and she is now flip-flopping size to uh, bowl again on the opposite side. And it looks like everybody's prepared here at the bowling alley. I mean, everybody is getting an all different averages. They're all bringing in some type of high score for their you now their own individual challenge that they're trying to make. All right, now Hannah Bogany now steps up, ready for her six frame. Here she goes with the 78. Knocks down and she's got about three pins left, so she knocked about seven down. It looks like an easy spot for her. I mean, it's, it's definitely gonna turn out great. And she does. She knocks down the three pins, giving herself a spare, which will finish out her sixth frame.
And now Hannah flip-flops to the left side on lane 11. She's up the ball again for the Narstown Varsity girls. All right, Hannah Bodogin steps back up. And this is in her seventh frame now. She's getting ready to step up to the plate. Here she goes and gives a little push and takes it out for a nine. She's up again, trying to finish out her seventh frame, which she does, giving herself a spare. Simple spare, right to the middle, and uh, knocks it out with no problem. Her score is now a 114. So Nick, what do you think her estimate uh, score at be? You know, to you know, just give an estimate. You what what you think she'll bring it in in this second game? I'm thinking she she has a good chance to make it 200. I think it depends though, because you got to keep making your spares and keep getting strikes. And as long as you can make your spares, that's what makes a good bowler. I mean, any fool can get a strike. So as long as you one of the best talents in bowling is making your spares. Right, and uh, that, that's very true. It appears that she's made most, if not all, of her spares. I think she has a very good shot at getting up to the 180s, 190s, maybe even the 200. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree with that. I'd say we'd probably like, let's let's go with a maybe a a 195, maybe 200 or so, and uh, it, let, you know let's see if that estimate is right. I bet you 20 bucks is a 200. Well, I don't, we'll have to see about that. Oh come on. We can only go by what the bowler does and what the bowler brings out in this game. All right, and uh, Hannah's back up. 
getting ready to uh, step up for her eighth frame. Here she comes, getting ready to step up. And she throws. And she knocks down eight pins. Here she goes again, trying to finish it off for the eighth frame, knocking them pins down without no problem. Score now is 132 in the eighth frame. All right, Hannah's back up. What her name now? For the varsity girls. All right, she steps up to the plate here now. She's getting ready to go in there. Get that nine frame up. And there she goes, throws in the ball, giving him a curve, gets it straight down the middle. Knocks it down, gives it herself a strike. Beautiful, right in the middle, no problem at all. Score 52. She's, so she's definitely getting up there around the uh, 200s, 190 range. Told you so. Yeah, she'll get there. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep co uh, covering her just to make sure, make sure everything goes swell.
All right, it's now the 10th frame for the Norristown Varsity girls, and Hannah Bogadin is up on lane 12. And um, uh, hopefully, I mean, this is their 10th frame now. Hopefully she can bring in three strikes. We'll raise her score up a little bit higher and bring her around the uh, 200 range. Here she goes, throws the ball. Gives a little swirl and knocks down eight pins with a tight situation right now. The, she's got to get two pins with, um, she's got she's to split. She's got a five set here in the 10th frame. If she can nail this 5-7 split, she can move on and get more pins knocked down. If she can't, she'll end up uh, finishing out her frame. And misses the one pin, no problem at all, and she leaves out with a 180 in her 10th frame in the second game for Hannah Bogadine Sr. at Norristown Area High School's varsity game here. Very, very nice second game, beautiful game. She did excellent, and that's a very difficult spare to make. It, it, is, it is true. I mean, it is difficult. It's the, the type of where it is right now and, you know, where it's positioned, it's, it's kind of hard. And, and for us to put it in words that you understand, she was in a predicament where she couldn't get the pin to knock and slip the other one underneath. And it's no problem at all. It's just, it's just, it's just a predicament where she fell short of where... It was supposed to be, and it's okay. It's a one eight in a second game. All right, folks, we'll be right back with our third game here in the Brunswick Zone in Feasterville for the boys and varsity girls bowling team in the championships. We'll be right back. 